Did you have a nice vacation? I did. Yeah? Did you stay here? Yeah. Yeah, we just stayed home most of the time. No, no yard work? Uh, no yard work for me, yeah. <laughs> Your time's pretty good? Yeah, it's much better now. I can spend Move all it. the weekend like this now. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's just the mail part. It will take about six months. To yeah, mail took a long time. A long, long time, yeah. Yeah, I dropped hammer on my nail right. when I was a child, and it's still uneven, but yeah. it grew back. Yeah. Yeah, that's the good news. Let's just use this A. Overnight, or you just um, go on Saturday? I think we're going there and then just taking a bus back. Uh huh. Yeah. On the same day. On the same day. Okay. Okay. That's probably better. Okay. So we're doing your scale. So let's do your whole scale and then we're doing your double stop. So let's start with two stop for both. Set the code. 
hands and tell it to work this way. Good, and we just come down. Two plus two, so four per bow. Yeah. Now, when you start, always be aware that we're not going to be this way. That is so you just have to pull the bow back just a little bit and pull it back. That's it. Because it's then the weaker part of the bow. So and I haven't done it justice. So. I 
started here, and then you went to here. Oh. Okay, so do F major, and then we'll do F minor. <laughs> Try. We're going to go a little faster. We'll do the first one. And we'll just see how fast we can go. Don't worry if, you, if it doesn't sound good. We just want to move the fingers. Let's hear your thirds. Are we doing two for bow now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, that was pretty good. Let's just start here. So let's just go from here. This is like memories of the P and A, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Let's go from the D and the B. So let's really isolate this, and you have to know your minor six and your major six. Okay? Okay, okay. it's a good start. And did you do your octave? Yeah. Okay, maybe <coughs> let's do the octave just one per bow. <laughs> Is a con 
concerto thing. Uh -huh. So I don't know how many concertos she has to play, maybe only one. Only one. So I will be here okay. earlier, maybe. Okay, well, I'll be done like 5.40. Let's say 5.30. <laughs> okay, I'll be five, I will be here at 5.30. <laughs> Just finish on time. <laughs> start in the middle of one of these four uh, four notes together how can you figure out if you're going to be up or down bow? Oh. By going back to the beginning? No. 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 So what's the really easy way? Um, if it just starts the four, the first yeah. of four, it is. Down bow. And if it's the second of four. Up bow. Third of four. Down bow. And fourth of four. Right, that's right. So if you start here, we know it's going to be down bow. Your bottom G. 
good. And feel that you have the vibrations of your open G. Good. Good. A, good, higher A, good. 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 Okay, so what happens is we, what happens to the spaces between the notes as we go up? Yeah, between the one and four, right? So here's the biggest. So just do this. So you feel. have the difference yeah. okay keep plugging away at this okay really double stops get better over a period of uh, a long time okay I think you, do you have a doggy out here good okay okay so we're doing number 11 the fifth page second page okay Just a hair slower and just exaggerate your changing tones just for now. but go on a finger diet, you know. See how? See how I push the finger down and then it comes off the string. Is 
then I'm not going to hear it. Can we do the whole measure for both? the bow though. The finger, what you did a really nice thing with the finger. measure per bow and then go to two measures. Okay, Kreuzer Etude. Just so you get the reminds when I shift, as soon as I play the note, I release it. I play it, I release it. know we've arrived at the changing tone, but I don't have to hear it, except as a harmonic, as a very light finger. You're going to go right to the G 
finish it once more. When you come back to third position, I want to move my elbow back and I keep the heel against the side. Down bow. Good. Now, try this. Don't let your heel come away at all. Just feel that it's very sticky to the side. <laughs> Good. Two, three. Good. Now we want to keep the bow the same speed. One, two, three. Goes to a D sharp. And light. Good. So we'll go on. But I want you to really think. As soon as you play the note, you release the finger. I I play the note, I release it. I can even look and see that I've released it. to the A natural, right? Great. So, are you, do you know where you're going on this changing tone? Yeah. Yeah, to where? I think you know, but I need to make sure. Mm -hmm. E, exactly. So, and then last position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just, whoosh, yeah, you have to get there confidently. Good, slow. Good.
here we can this is a heel i'm going to just use it against the side good good and that's back to the a e again so what so i move my thumb see i do move here I go to the E here. Good. 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 And then here we want to make sure we get all the way to the F. Good, but back to the E. Good. 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 That was good. So. I'll go to C natural because that's the note in the chord here. So. tedious one, isn't it? But it's invaluable. So really good. So make sure you do the whole thing. And next for next time we're gonna go with six for bow. to do three again if there are any that are tricky for you so now we'll go with six but still with the changing tone okay so let's stay on this one and let's see what else we have we have your oh whoop. whoops that's not really helpful okay you have a don't to pass on you really quickly okay Oh. Okay, and which don't I do? Whoops. Uh, <sighs> too many obstacles here. And we are doing number this one? Yeah. Okay, okay. Great.
high tone and then a half step. Make sure the finger gets far enough. High tone. halfway so we can just stay close right in the middle okay and how's your tune de ballet are you having fun with it yeah it's a fun piece isn't it yeah okay how's your a Music, so it's comfortable. 
now that you're not crazy about that, are you? Okay, so we want to start from the string and put the bow on the string. So slowly, fingers, fingers. But I, I need to hear. So remember, it's the same as C and A. too slowly, you get a scratch. If it's too fast, you don't hear anything. So decide your speed of bow. Good. A little faster, probably. Good. And move the bow. Good. Keep the bow. Good. Next. Good. That C natural. Good. Good. And... So that's how to get that next. Good. You, you want to sing all the way to the frog. And one, good. So the rhythm, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, one. Two. Good. Now the bow, you let the bow stay right in the string. Don't turn the window. And I'm shifting on one, two. Good. Good. Do that again. Two, four, one. Good. So I want to sing. And. to the frog. So up bow, up bow on your E. Three frog. Three. Good. Now watch this. I retake. Keep 
the bow Gauge your bow. One, two. I need to sing through the 
Play one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Four, five, six, one. Good. And, and to just write a crescendo. Changing the bow lower. 
for this chord. So I'm going to save the bow. I'm going to think one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? So one, two, three, four. Do we do that just for stopping? Good. Now I have to save a half a bow for that last B. Thank you. 
not going to worry about each string. I'm just going to make my up, up, because I did that up bow again. Up, up, up. Good. Good. Uh oh, but I have to play a note right next to it. Good. Remind me, we'll start here next time. Okay. Okay? And make sure you watch your video and then incorporate all these things into it. Okay? okay. Good. And you notice that I came with important.